A blessed afternoon. We are the Group 3 of Information and Communication Technology Computer Programming, and we are here to present our quantitative research about correlation between the time of playing online games and the academic performance of senior high school students. Together with Daniela Abenyun, Joseph Beldoria, Jefferson Davido, John Sherwin Morales, I am Daniel Garrido, and we are your researchers for this study. Why did we choose this study? We chose this research to do that playing online games is popular to all the students. Students play online games to lessen the stress they have in school, to entertain themselves, and because playing online games keeps them interested. We would like to know if the time of playing can determine the academic performance of senior high school students. Significant of the study The study deals with the time of playing online games and academic performance of senior high school students. It seeks to answer as to how time can impact the academic performance of senior high school students, considering that academic performance is important to a student since it is the measurement of students' achievement across various academic subjects. Teachers and education officials typically measure achievement using classroom performance, graduation rates, and results from standardized tests. We come up with a study to give purpose on what may be beneficial to the following. Students, this study is beneficial for the students to give awareness on how the time of playing online games can influence their academic performance. First, this will inform them on how much time do they spend in playing online games. Upon this information, this study can advise on how to manage their time in playing and for their academic performance. Parents, this study can benefit the parent by providing insight and information about the time their child spent in playing and what can it cost to their academic performance. It is also beneficial to the parent because they will know how to help their child in terms of playing and studying. Teachers Teachers are potentially the most important members of our society. They give children purpose, set them up for success as citizens of our world, inspire in them a drive to do well and succeed in life. It will be beneficial to the teachers since this will give knowledge of what the time of playing can do to the academic performance of senior high school students. Future Researchers This research will help future researchers give supportive information they will need for further studies. And purpose of the study is to know if there's a relationship between the academic performance of senior high school students and the time of playing online games. And if the time of playing online games can affect the academic performance of senior high school students. This is the statement of the problem in our research. Number one, how often does a senior high school student play online games? Number two, how does playing online games affect the academic performance of students in terms of 1. Interest 2. Behavior in class 3. Health 4. School activities And number 3. Is there any significant relationship between the length and of using gadgets and academic performance? And now, let's go to the data presentation. In statement of problem number 1, how often does a senior high school student play online games? Referring to Graph 1, out of the total 30 respondents, 80% or 24 respondents are playing online games in 2 hours. 13% or 4 respondents are playing games in 4 hours. 3% or 1 respondent are playing online games in 6 hours. And 3% or 1 respondent is playing online games in 8 hours. This illustrates that most senior high school students play online games only about 2 hours and some of them play online games for 4 hours, 6 hours, and 8 hours. In computing the data, the researchers use the formula in getting the weighted mean of every statement. Table 1 shows the overall weighted mean of all the statements under interest. Based on the table, it was set on that senior high school students are either into playing games or studying for their academic performance. With a weighted mean of 2.8, senior high school students are either bored with studying or playing online games keeps them interested. With a weighted mean of 2.7, senior high school students are either play online games or study. With a weighted mean of 2.6, senior high school students are impartial in hearing a new online game than a new assignment in school. 
with a weighted mean of 2.4, senior high school students are either improving their skills in online games or their skills in school. With a weighted mean of 2.1, senior high school students are either buying in online games or buy school books. Table 2 illustrates the overall weighted mean of all the statements under behavior in class. It can be reasoned that senior high school students often still can focus when the teacher is lecturing after playing online games with a weighted mean of 3.6. With a weighted mean of 3.9, senior high school students often participate in class. With a weighted mean of 2.9, senior high school students sometimes play games on the school campus. With a weighted mean of 2.7, senior high school students sometimes play online games while the teacher is in the class and sometimes just to play rather than listen to a teacher's lecture with a weighted mean of 2.8. Health. Table 3 illustrates the overall weighted mean of all the statements under health. It can be inferred that CHS students strongly agree in staring at the screen for hours can cause eye strain with a weighted mean of 4.1 with a weighted mean of 3.7 CHS students agree in playing online games can be a stress reliever with a weighted mean of 3.0 CHS students agree with playing online games can affect the mental health of a CHS student with a weighted mean of 3.2 CHS students agree with playing online games, you can be physical inactive. With a weighted mean of 3.1, CHS students agree of spending all of your time in gaming can be the cause of the low nutrients of a CHS student. Table 4 display the sum weighted mean of all the statements under school activities. It can be derived that senior high school students can be balanced playing online games and their activities in school with a weighted mean of 4.7. With a weighted mean of 2.5, senior high school students impartially forget to do their activity due to playing online games. With a weighted mean of 3.5, senior high school students agree in finishing their first activity before playing online games. Senior high school students impartially play online games before doing school activities with a weighted mean of 2.9. And with a weighted mean of 2.8, senior high school students either do the activity that was given that was given today or do the activity tomorrow to play online games table 5 above shows the correlation between the length of using gadgets and academic performance using the person r formula which is equal to negative 0.986 it shows that there is a very strong negative relationship between the length of using gadgets and academic performance of senior high school students. This means that when the time of playing online games is increasing, the academic performance of the student is decreasing. And when the academic performance is increasing, the time of playing online games is decreasing. The correlation is significant due to that p-value is less than 0 0.05. We reject the null hypothesis that is unlikely to be true. Therefore, it suggests that there is a significant correlation between the length of using gadgets and academic performance of senior high school students and conclude that the significant does exist. As said before, in Juraratara Sirikul, Wong Waitai Wiwong and Sang Supawanich study found that excessive playing of video games resulted in school grades that were below a 3.00 average and the time spent playing was a predictor of academic performance. Finally, they noted that playing video games took time away from school activities, homework, and social interaction. With the gathered data, it can be concluded that most of the senior high school students are playing about 2 hours and only some of them play 6 to 8 hours. 
It can also be concluded that senior high school students get high academic performance with a low amount of time playing online games, indicating that there is a very strong negative correlation between the time of playing online games and academic performance of senior high school students. Specifically, the researchers present the following conclusion. Number one, we conclude that the time of playing online games affect the academic performance of senior high school students. Number two, 24 or 80% of the sample in students play at the low amount of time. Number three, we conclude that there is a significant relationship between the time of playing online games and the academic performance of senior high school students. Based on the conclusion, we recommended for the following. For students, we recommend for them to prioritize their academic performance and lessen the time of playing online games because it can affect their academic performance if they put too much time in playing. For parents, we recommend for them to check on their child if they are spending too much time in playing online games because they will get a poor academic performance if they still continue to play rather than study and do school works. For teachers, we recommend for them to recognize and review our research because the result may help them to inform on how time correlates and affect the academic performance of a student. For future researchers, we recommend for them to do the same study, however, using different variables and correlating the variables of this study will be accommodating to come up with a comprehensive or greater idea for the future study. Thank you for listening. We are the Group 3 of Information and Communication Technology Computer Programming together with Daniela Abenyun, Joseph Doria, Jefferson Davido, Jen Sherwin Morales, I am Dan Garido. Thank you again for listening to us.